Hey guys, so this may come as a big surprise, but Tesla has already started on the design and production of the next full self-driving chip. And of course, we're not talking about hardware 4 here, which is practically a brand new chip. We're talking about hardware 5. So as many of you guys are aware by now, Tesla has recently introduced hardware 4 with higher resolution cameras all around. There has been minor changes here and there, but outside of those, there has been no additional sensors or hardware to be added on any of the vehicles. And quite honestly, we lost a bunch of sensors throughout the past years leading up to hardware 4, and once hardware 4 arrived, we lost things such as radar, ultrasonic sensors, and even one additional camera right up front. What Tesla eventually decided to do was bundle all this together and introduce a new software-based visual processor called Tesla Vision to handle all autopilot and software-based parking systems. Now before we talk about hardware 5, I want to discuss about hardware 4 and disparity between hardware 3 and hardware 4 once it was introduced up until this very point. Depending where you live in the world, when you take delivery of your car, and even which model you decide to pick is going to determine if you're going to get hardware 3 or hardware 4. Of course, this has been reduced throughout the last couple of months and a lot of different models have been making the upgrades over to hardware 4. However, the benefits of this system, we are not quite clear yet over hardware 3. There is no glaring difference between all of them except for the clarity and resolution. Now we did talk about hardware 4 and all the advantages it brings to the table. If you guys want to know more about that, I will drop some links in the description below and one up top there for you guys to check out. But there are some resolution differences and it improves a lot in terms of vision in the rain and in the dark. But obviously the differences between them aren't enough and the average buyer is not going to be able to tell which hardware they're on. So now this is what Tesla has been planning all along. This is hardware 5 coming to all future models. This has probably been in the works for the past couple years and it's going to be introducing some of the very latest hardware changes as well as a new processor for the newer vehicles. According to a report by China Times, Tesla is now working with TSMC to produce the next generation CPU for the full self-driving computer. These 3 nanometer enhanced chips using the N3P manual manufacturing process will provide higher performance, transistor density, and lower power consumption. Reports have also said that Tesla had originally planned to upgrade the hardware 4 using the N4 technology, but due to delays, they had to extend the timeline and use a different manufacturing process. Not much is known about these chips other than the fact that it is a lot more powerful, uses a lot less power, and works in a temperature range of negative 40 up until 150 degrees Celsius. Now being that hardware 5 is going to be a much more powerful chip, that means that we are finally going to be in seeing an increase in the amount of sensors and cameras around the car. Things we're going to be seeing in the next generation vehicles with hardware 5 is likely going to be the Phoenix radar, additional sensors for cross traffic, as well as additional cameras and the front bumper camera seen on the Cybertruck. In addition to this, we're going to be getting one additional sensor which we've had a glimpse of in the Cybertruck service menu. This is going to be the interior radar system, which haven't really seen the light of day yet. We haven't really seen what it's being activated for and if it's even activated at all. But this is something that is likely going to future proof future models as well. So it's really great that hardware 5 will eventually incorporate this in. So what does this mean for you guys with hardware 4? It means that likely you're going to be seeing a retrofit. If not, you're going to need to upgrade the entire car to hardware 5. This this is something that Tesla has planned all along. The additional sensors, the front bumper camera, and all the radar system needed for full self-driving is eventually going to be needed to be added on all of these vehicles. Now in terms of ETA, we don't know anything so far and what any of these really indicates, but what we know is that Tesla is working towards hardware 5 and full self-driving. So the best is going to be coming very soon. It doesn't seem like the process and manufacturing is going to be a lot longer than what we're seeing with any of the other hardware changes. I'll continue to monitor this and everything else that happens in the next few weeks. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so I can keep you guys updated going along. And if you haven't already done so, follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. Over there, I like to share a lot of content that I'm unable to share up on YouTube. So yeah, hit me up there. This should be it for this little update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.